Thank you very much. LSD is lysergic acid diethylamide, or acid as it's popularly called these days. This is one of the most potent chemicals known. It produces marked changes in vision, time, space, and self-identity. It was synthesized in 1938 by Dr. Albert Hoffman in Basel, Switzerland. And then, about five years later, he accidentally inhaled a small amount which prof uh, produced profound distortions in his uh, sense of time and space. He wondered what did it, and a few days later he repeated the experiment, and sure enough, he had an eight-hour alteration of consciousness which put him to bed. It's called an hallucinogenic drug because on rare occasions it produces real hallucinations. You see things that are not there. Well, that's very hard to answer because so much happens and it's so variable that there is no characteristic experience. One of the most spectacular things is that colors and patterns are intensified. Time seems to stand still and sometimes the self dissolves completely. Yes, I have. And in the past 13 years, I have taken it seven times, from the very tiniest dosage to a dose of 150 micrograms. I had a most unusual and interesting reaction. It produced changes in my time sense, which were astounding. Time seemed to stand still. Colors became enormously intensified. The mood was altered to one of great tranquility, and uh, my mental activity was enormously increased so that it was a, a very remarkable experience and taught me a good deal. Yes, it was possible to communicate with them and to d describe at least in part what was going on, and I always knew that I had taken a drug to produce this date. No, it's not uh, a narcotic, it's not addicting, but it is habit-forming. We know now, in the past few years, that LSD can be something which people like to take regularly, and uh, they do so. We now know of people who have taken LSD hundreds of times. We don't know the answer to this question in animals given large amounts frequently, brain damage does occur. But we don't know whether it does so in human beings because this experiment has never been done in the laboratory. Perhaps one day we'll get the answer to this from the young folks who are taking large amounts on the street. It isn't quite as easy as that. I would say that a determined college chemist can manufacture the material. He needs the precursor, the materials from which it's made, and he needs some chemical equipment. And then he can produce a rather large amount of the drug if he uh, wishes. The drug is a white powder which, when placed in water, is colorless, tasteless, and odorless. Yes, this is a very dangerous situation because when LSD is taken without one's knowledge, the results are very difficult to uh, understand and the person can become panic-stricken, believe he is going mad, and uh, hurt himself. Yes, in general, we know that we have taken a drug and th therefore we are in this state. However, when enormous amounts of the drug are taken, there can be a loss of this knowledge so that one may be aware that everything has changed and not remember that it was a drug-induced condition. Thorazine, or a barbiturate, has been used to cut off the effects of uh, LSD. A lot of alcoholics uh, with severe problem alcoholism have been treated. Such a person, given a large dose of LSD, 
might find that he can look at himself in a new way and he might decide that his destructive drinking pattern is unnecessary. It might represent a new beginning for him, a new way to start life all over again without having to reach for the bottle every time he gets frustrated. It not only allows the self to dissolve so that the so-called transcendental effect occurs and the person feels no longer lost but at one with the universe, but his entire system of values may change. He may no longer feel guilty or ashamed, and therefore he wipes the slate clean, as it were, and can start off in a new behavioral pattern. There are a number of um, studies going on. They are all carefully controlled. They are supervised by physicians, and this is rather important. And they are looking into the very things we've been talking about. One, does the alcoholic who is given LSD stay dry over many years? Two, what is the effect on the creative process? Three, what does it do to make the process of dying a little easier? Things of this sort. There are many important questions that are not yet completely answered by LSD. Well, these are items which are very important because they reveal many things about human mental functioning, and uh, they have an impact into many areas of uh, the mind, belief, faith, matters of uh, the nature of uh, perception and so forth, which makes this a very valuable tool not only to medicine but also to other areas of uh, science. Well, the bum trip is no danger uh, if a person recovers completely. What is dangerous, though, are the prolonged reactions, the prolonged anxiety states, of which I have seen many, the psychotic breakdowns, the accidental deaths, the suicides. These are dangers which I can substantiate and which have happened as a result of taking LSD. There are many things we don't know about this drug. We don't know its long-term effects. We don't know how a, even a single exposure might be for you. The drug at present should only be taken under carefully supervised and controlled conditions. Thank you for asking me. He sits alone on the wooden floor, visible only by the dim light shining from the bathroom. He talks to himself. I do. Because I know the difference. I don't want your damn world. I'm going to have I'm so far out of my mind. I'm going to eliminate that part of it. <laughs> wow. There's so... Look at everything, it's so... It's just so... You know, wow. What? It's great. Great. Come in. Come in. Come into my world. Come into the world of reality. Come into the world of materialistic things. Come in and be ready to be ate up by society. And if you're lucky, we can go out and get drunk tonight. And be happy. And be gay. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>
sobs as his joy turns to fear. rocky journey ended 12 hours after it so innocently had begun. He was shattered by it. <laughs> 